She lost her partner to complications from a coronavirus vaccination and now a woman from Cumbria has become the first person to receive a compensation payment over a death linked to a Covid jab. Vicky Spitz's fiancé, Zion, died last year, aged 48. Now her lawyers say while the vaccine rollout brought great benefits, more needs to be done to help families affected by rare cases that led to severe complications. Peter Harris reports. He was one of the smartest, funniest people I've ever met. A rock singer and filmmaker, Zion fell ill in May of last year, days after receiving an AstraZeneca vaccine and later died. And for his partner, there's a feeling her loss was compounded by a year-long fight for compensation. To say this has been caused by the vaccine and to wait so long and have to fight so hard to get any sort of support has been horrific. Uh, people are on the verge of losing their homes because they haven't been able to work or they've lost their main earner in their home. Um, and people have gone into debt. I must, I've gone into debt um, just to try and get through. And it's, it's been horrific. The £120,000 award comes from the government's vaccine damage payment scheme 1979. It's available to anyone disabled as a result of a vaccine and an application can be made on behalf of someone like Zeon who's died. You've now received compensation but how do you feel about how that vaccine compensation scheme works? It's been a struggle and that's one thing that really winds me up as there are people who've been widowed or lost parents and there are people who are suffering from severe disabilities and we've all had to fight to get to get to this point. There needs to be a bespoke scheme and there needs to be a sliding scale of compensation, that's what we feel. Vicky's now trying to rebuild her life without Zeon near Alston in Cumbria. Paramedics didn't initially recognise his symptoms as vaccine related and she hopes his inquest in August will lead to more lessons being learned. I would like to, for other vaccines and things like that, when they have these possible side effects, I would like to know that there'd be a prevention of future death uh, declaration made to make sure that first responders and frontline medical staff know about potential risks. I don't think this is going to be the last pandemic we have. I'm sure there are going to be other new vaccines. I think that something has to be put into place so that people can look up if there are any things to be concerned about with this vaccine. Vicky says she's never been anti-vax. Her lawyers say while the vaccine rollout brought great benefits, more must be done for the tragic few in their families who suffered severe consequences from the jabs. Peter Harris, BBC Look North. Well, a spokesman for the Department of Health and Social Care said all vaccines being used in the UK have undergone robust clinical trials and have met strict standards of safety, effectiveness and quality. Over 140 million doses of vaccines against COVID have now been administered in the UK, saving tens of thousands of lives. The medicines and healthcare regulatory agency position remains that the benefits of the COVID vaccine AstraZeneca continue to outweigh the risks for most people. A teenager has been 